हेलो स्टूडेंट्स तो वेलकम बैक टू नेक्सस इंग्लिश बैच फिजिक्स वाला टुडे स्टूडेंट्स वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद द टॉपिक कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स आई होप यू हैव एंजॉयड एंड यू अंडरस्टूड द प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट इज लेक्चर नंबर 1 राइट पीपल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लेक्चर नंबर 2 इन कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स सो व्हाट वी डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर इफ यू कैन सी वी डिस्कस्ड व्हाट इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर पीपल वी डिस्कस्ड व्हाट इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर एंड what are the what is the algebra of complex number like how to add complex numbers how to subtract complex numbers how to multiply and how to divide okay and the next one that we went with uh, modulus and conjugate okay what is modulus of a, a complex number as well as we discussed conjugate so using those two we have discussed some properties as well and we also discussed how to find uh, the multiplicative inverse so simply the reciprocal of a complex number okay people so at the end of the class last in the last class i started just by saying what is argand plane we haven't uh, dealt anything there so we are going to discuss what is argand plane what is amplitude what is argument and polar form okay so like around uh, we'll be taking one hour for completing this and after that we'll be discussing some uh, applications based on this as well as based on the previous topics also okay and uh, coming from the next class the complex number 3 will be dealing with the more geometrical aspects of complex numbers okay all right table so let's move ahead to understand what is an argand plane so well, generally when we are discussing the real numbers and uh, the coordinate geometry till now we discussed xy plane right cartesian plane we said cartesian plane so what is that we, in cartesian plane we have two perpendicular lines one is x axis one is y axis and you know how to plot points and how to draw the graphs and everything you know right coordinate geometry now people what is argand plane argand plane is the same replica of cartesian plane but here we will not have x and y axis separately we will be having a real axis will be having a real axis and will be having imaginary axis the real and imaginary are two perpendicular lines and you may ask me sir imaginary numbers itself are imaginary we don't know where they exist then how can we plot the numbers right that is where we are bringing a separate plane and not uh, not anything relating to real plane i mean uh, the cartesian plane in cartesian whatever we have discussed is different argand is completely different with complex numbers okay if i if you ask me to Uh, plot these on the real numbers or real life i cannot plot those because they are imaginary numbers i don't know where they exist okay people so you need to understand the differences right so now this particular plane where we have a real axis and imaginary axis with two perpendicular lines is called the argand plane okay so some basic geometry for all we want if we want to find so the basic thing is 0, 0 okay that is the origin right and on real axis we'll be having all points like 1 2 3 4 5 imaginary also 1 2 3 4 5 so if we have a number let's say z is equal to a plus ib this is a complex number but if you want to represent the same complex number as a point in the argand plane so this will be equal to ordered pair a comma b ordered pair a comma b that means the the value of a in the real axis and b on imaginary axis so these two will give you the point a comma b so whenever i say a comma b that represents a number a plus ib in in argand plane the point a comma b means in the numbers it is equal to complex numbers it is equal to a plus ib okay so i hope you can understand this difference right people so so after this there are lot of geometrical aspects just like coordinate geometry finding what is the distance between them right or finding what is the slope in slope in cartesian form we will see what we will call here so finding what is the angle theta right and from there uh, bringing uh, whatever x cos to the y sin theta bringing triangles bringing concepts of um, uh, centroid right how to find the ratio of line joining to points so, so many things that we can actually go with the geometry of complex numbers and the well, geometry of complex numbers is very 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 important i'm saying okay the same geometry whatever we have discussed here will actually be uh, the replica of cartesian plane 
but with small minor changes that here and there we need to be uh, we aware of that okay Spencer. so this is about a simple explanation of what is arca and plane will be having a real plane and will be having an imaginary plane okay so if i want if i want to have a z is equal to just a number two and i want to represent that on a argand plane so you may ask me that now if it is a real number how can you represent that in argand plane i said you all the real numbers are also part of complex numbers okay so this is nothing but it is equal to plus i times of zero so two on the real axis, zero on the imaginary axis gives you this particular point. Let's say this one, this two. So this will be two comma zero on the real plane, on the real axis, on the real axis. Okay. If I give you z is equal to i, just i. What is the meaning of that? Right. So it is zero plus i times of one. So the point will be zero comma one. The point will be zero comma one. So zero on uh, real axis and one on imaginary axis. So here we'll be getting the point is 0, 1. Are you understanding? If I give you z is equal to minus 3 minus 4i, minus 3 minus 4i. So real real value is minus 3, imaginary value is minus 4, both are negative. So we'll be getting a point minus 3 comma minus 4, which is a point in the third quadrant. Somewhere here we'll get minus 3 comma minus 4, which means minus 3 minus 4i is the complex number. Okay, the same replica of cartesian system we will be discussing here but we should be uh, very clear about the complex parts okay sometimes we need to uh, change or uh, when we have i square we need to keep it as minus one so wherever there are some differences like that we should be very careful about that okay right next one is amplitude or argument the same thing like that we have discussed in the cartesian geometry after discussing the point we discuss the slope of a line or slope of line joining two points, right? So what does that slope gives us, students? What does, this, what does the slope tells us? See, slope means, for, for example, m, m is the value of the slope, right? So that is tan theta, you know that, okay? That theta, if it is theta, the slope m is equal to tan, so that gives tangent function of theta value, right? So using the help of m slope or maybe indirectly theta, right we can say how the line is inclined in which direction or which angle was inclined the same thing we should also have some measurement in complex system right we should know how the line is uh, tilted or uh, moving right in some other cases we need to find areas right so many things so in that case we say amplitude or we say argument okay we say argument of z we say argument of z. So what is this argument or what is this amplitude? Amplitude or argument both are same. Same thing, people. The same thing here also will be having the real plane and the argand plane. Real plane as a real axis and the imaginary axis, the argand plane. So we have a point x comma y and we want to find the angle here. Okay, so we need to have some parameter for that, right? So that is where we will be discussing about argument of z. But well, it's not as easy as we have discussed the slope in a straight lines because uh, here we'll be here we'll be describing in a different manner, right? Uh, based on the quadrants, see, here we just take the angle between zero to one eighty, but that's not the case in Argand plane. Okay, we will see what is that. So, people, if I want to find this theta, right? We need to go for some uh, triangular cons that will be having tan theta, sine theta, cos theta whatever it is so we take this distance we try to find the triangular uh, trigonometric functions on all right and so before that before learning that let's try to understand how to find that angle is it the same angle everywhere in every quadrant table that's not correct you can see there are a uh, total four different cases in where the point is in all four quadrants okay so if let's say the point is in the first quadrant like this the point is in the first quadrant. So how do you calculate that value of theta? The angle, right, with the x-axis, see? So it's direct, no problem. It's direct here, you can see here, okay? The same, no problem, no change. In cut, let us let us think this is Cartesian geometry, right? This is the Cartesian geometry. And this is for Argand plane, okay? This is for Argand plane. I'll tell you what is the difference between these two. First, when the point is in the first quadrant, no change. Whatever theta we have, the same theta will be considering. 
But when the same part is in the second quadrant, you know that we will be taking the angle more than 90, right? It is greater than 90 and less than 180. The angle will lie between 90 to 180. The slope or with this theta, 90 to it lies between 90 to 180, correct? Right? The same thing will also come here. It, it varies, it belongs to from 90 to 180. No problem in that, okay? 90 to 180. Now the difference comes in third and fourth quadrants where people in the in the normal uh, geometry we take this angle up to here with the, if the point is in third quadrant we take this angle as theta where it actually belongs to the value from 180 to 270. The value of this theta will lie from 180 to 270 in the normal geometry, right? You can have the angle as 200, 210, 250, 260, 269. All these are valid values, but there is a difference in the Argand plane. Now, we are not anymore going in this direction. We are moving from the backward. We are moving in the clockwise direction. Okay. So, ultimately, our angles will also change. In this, in this geometry, in the very first case of geometry, the angle move from 0 to 360. The angles move from 0 to 360. But that's not the case for the angle in Argand plane. 0 to 90 is possible, 90 to 180 is possible, but after that we cannot go for 180 plus, we will be having in the negative direction, so it will be between uh, 0, this is minus 90, this is minus 180, so the angle will lie, lie between minus 180 to the minus 90, now the angle will lie between minus 180 to minus 90, so our 0 to 360 value should be again uh, redefined to some other equivalent interval for Argand plane. Okay, the same thing here, and this is 0, this is minus 90, so this value will be between 0 to minus 90. Between 0 to minus 90, understand? So, in a plane geometry, when we are considering the angle to be from 0 to 360, but here that is not the case, here value 0 can come, positive 90 till 180, and minus 180 to 0. That means, if you club all this, our values of theta will lie between minus 180 to 180. Minus 180 to 180. Minus pi, right? Minus pi less than theta less than or equal to pi. Or in some books, you can find this equality here. No problem, okay? You can have minus pi included, pi is not included. <coughs> right? Pi and minus pi same. Same in the sense, if you are moving in this direction, at this point, you will be having pi, that means the complete angle. And if you are moving in this direction, at the same point again, you will be having minus pi. Both are same. You equate here and you omit there, or you leave this and include that, that's not a problem, okay? So, what is that I have discussed now? It is about amplitude or argument. Amplitude or argument. This is the value, this is the process to find the angle theta in Argand plane or complex numbers. So, you should be very careful that the argument, the angle will lie between minus pi to pi only. And the angle will lie between minus pi to pi only. So, how to find this angle when we are having in the quadrants? That we will discuss. Okay, people. So, what's next we are having? Okay. Okay. So, polar representation. For what is a polar representation? People, once we are done with the angle, I will give you, I will take more examples to teach you how to find uh, the um, argument, okay, don't worry. With, based on different coordinates, we'll be discussing. Okay, then what is this polar representation? Okay, see, first of all, let's take the point, let's take a point, okay, A comma B, or it is actually, it is actually, it's actually Z equal to A plus IB, okay. So, I have taken a point A comma B, and I know this angle is theta. Okay, for simple purpose, I am taking the quadrant of the point to be first quadrant. Okay, so now people, if this is theta, let's say this is the this is zero. I mean origin. This is z. So the distance from origin from zero to z, I told you already in the previous class, that is nothing but mod z. The distance from origin to z, the point is a modulus z. Okay, that is actually mod z is equal to z is equal to a plus ib. So, mod z will be equal to root over a square plus b square. That is the same, the distance from O to z. 
O to Z. Okay, this is not zero, so O, o to Z. So I have a theta. Now, people, let me uh, draw the. Let me complete the triangle here, which is a right angle triangle, right? So this is mod Z. So what will be this? This is this. This is A, and this is B. Okay, considering everything in the first quadrant, considering everything should be positive. I'll also tell you what will happen when we are having in the negative, right? So, table. So what I can say about A, if I if I can apply in the triangle, in the triangle O, uh, let's say this is uh, A, this is A Z, that is Z. Okay, leave it, leave it as in triangle O A Z. If I go for cos theta, tell me what happens when we apply cos theta. Cos theta, you can see edges in by hypotenuse, so A by mod Z. Okay. A by mod Z, or I can say A is equal to mod Z into cos theta. Okay. Well, some in some books it will be represented with directly with R. You can write as R cos theta. R or mod Z, everything is same notations. Okay. And the same triangle, if I go for sine theta, tell me if I go for sine theta. Sine theta will be B by mod Z. Okay. B by mod Z that will give you B is equal to mod Z sine theta. Which is also called as R sine theta. So, what is this polar representation? People, I told you that it is another way of representing a complex number. Okay, so we have we have the representation representation till now as z equal to a plus i b. So, what is this? A a is equal to R cos theta and b is equal to R sine theta. Okay, so R cos theta plus i times of R sine theta. Okay. So z is equal to r times of cos theta plus i sine theta. You can leave it as r, or you can also go as r is equal to r. You can write it as mod z. Okay, mod z into cos theta, cos theta plus i sine theta, cos theta plus i sine theta. Understand, people? Everyone? Okay. So this particular representation of the complex number z equal mod z into cos theta plus i sine theta is called polar representation or polar form simply okay so when we have a number we can convert that to polar form when we have the polar form you can convert that to standard form a plus ib okay but for all these people r or mod z is very simple modulus you know how to find that no worries no problems but you should be very careful with bring theta that is the major that is the major, major thing okay so how to get this theta then how to find this theta how to get okay so okay will we uh, have one question here but before that let me uh, let me tell you some details about how to find argument okay let's say if we have a point in the first quadrant so no doubt i told you that angle will be theta so you can go with theta tan theta so this is x comma y let's say so this is y this is x no problem we can directly say tan theta is equal to y by x so theta will be equal to tan inverse of y by x no problem in that okay but what if the point is in the second quadrant what if the point is second quadrant so that is also okay whatever theta you get whatever angle you get so okay that becomes uh, the, the same argument but now we will what we say we, what we'll do we'll take this as, as the angle right so here we'll try to find if this is minus x comma y the point okay so this is x this is y okay so we still find we still find theta is equal to or uh, tan theta is equal to y by x tan equal to y by x and theta or keep it as alpha no problem okay let us take this as alpha or theta okay uh, so let us say this is alpha so i'm going i'll go with alpha so tan alpha is equal to y by x alpha is equal to tan inverse of y by x but now people okay so what we do here is actually we take the we take the angle pi minus theta okay this alpha so this angle now will become theta which is a pi minus alpha pi minus alpha right so here if you want to find the argument of z we write as pi minus okay this is pi minus alpha right people theta is pi minus alpha the complete thing is pi so pi minus tan inverse y by x and just to avoid any confusions people we take a modulus inside just to make sure that everything is positive inside okay pi minus tan inverse of y by x clear 
first quadrant point is done second quadrant point is done now when you go for third quadrant how to take the how to say here if you have the angle theta if you have the angle here you take it as a pi minus pi minus theta right you take the angle as pi minus theta if this is theta okay so the same thing if you have the third quadrant everything will be same everything will be same but you will be considering the angle as minus theta you will be considering the angle as minus theta you know how to find theta okay theta directly comes with tan inverse of mod y by x we keep mod always to make sure that whatever we get here is positive inside tan inverse okay so that is angle theta in the fourth quadrant the corresponding angle will be minus theta the same a uh, tan inverse y by x will you do but with minus so argument argument if it is in the third quadrant okay if it is in third quadrant okay argument of zero that is minus of tan inverse of mod y by x that is how we try to write that and if it is sorry this is in the fourth quadrant it's not third i'm talking this about in the fourth quadrant okay this is the fourth quadrant so what happens in third quadrant then in third quadrant exact opposite of that this becomes a theta minus pi okay or some books may written may write it as minus pi plus theta both are same okay so in the third quadrant so argument of z is taken as minus pi plus minus pi plus theta theta is a tan inverse of mod y by x so that is how you have all the formulas first quadrant theta tan inverse y by x directly second quadrant will be having pi minus theta so pi minus tan inverse of y by x third quadrant the negative of this so minus pi plus tan inverse and the fourth quadrant minus tan inverse y by x okay so that is how you try to write all the points okay let's move for the next let's move for the uh, previous slide what you are having once again so this will be theta this will be minus theta this will be pi minus theta this is exact opposite of that minus pi plus theta so the process to find theta is the same throughout all the four quadrants but correspondingly we should alter uh, alter our answer at the end okay people so repress the complex number z equal 1 plus i root 3 in the polar form people that is about argument we will see again so represent in the polar form so to find in the polar form first of all we need to have angle of theta okay so if you write this as z equal to x plus i by people x or a plus i b anything no worries okay so now so i have theta is equal to tan inverse of mod y by x that will give you tan inverse of mod root 3 by 1 mod root 3 by 1 so tan inverse of tan inverse of root 3 what is tan inverse of root 3 where do you get tan inverse root 3 that, that is that 60 degrees okay pi by 3 friends so, at this point of time if you are not still aware of inverse trigonometry don't worry people whatever we will be discussing here is just the reverse of trigonometric functions you know where do we get tan root 3 in the in the tan function where do you get root root 3 at pi by 3 it's exact it's exact inverse of the trigonometric function okay right there are still a lot more formulas that uh, will come in inverse trigonometric functions we have a separate chapter for that okay in the in which quadrant people the point is 1 comma root 3 this is in the first quadrant so this itself will be the angle okay so i got the value of theta now people z is equal to i i should also find mod z mod z what is mod z that is root over 1 plus root 3 square is 3 so root 4 which is equal to mod z is equal to 2 mod z is equal to so z is equal to mod z into r cos theta plus i sin theta okay so what is cos theta what is sin theta from where i can get this values okay people tell me first so i have the angle theta pi by 3 right so i know cos pi by 3 i know sin pi by 3 in case in case if you don't know the angle once you get tan theta here using that tan theta you need to find sin and cos values separately and then you need to substitute okay in this question no problem we'll discuss more questions where the theta is actually not there with us okay so mod z what is mod z then mod z is 2 so 2 times of r cos theta why again r i'm sorry why again r 
cos theta plus i sin theta. So, mod z is r into cos theta plus i sin theta. So, cos pi by 3, cos pi by 3 plus i sin pi by 3. So, you may ask me, sir, should we solve this further? People, if you solve this further, what you will get? You will again get the same answer 1 plus i root 3. So, do not solve that. You need to leave it like this. That itself is the polar representation. The question is asked to write 1 plus i root 3 in the polar form. Yes, that is correct. So, we need to find first of all mod, modulus that very easy. We should be very, very careful in finding the angle theta because theta varies with uh, with coordinates. Theta varies with coordinates and it is not just like the car normal geometry between 0 to 360. We need to go from minus pi to pi. Okay, minus 180 to plus 180. So, whatever the equivalent angle that comes in the in that quadrant, we need to take it. Okay. Right, people. So, let us move forward. Convert the complex number minus 16 by 1 plus i root 3 into polar form. How to do that? Students, we cannot, we cannot convert this into polar form if it is in this format. We need to convert that into the standard format a plus ib. <coughs> I am sorry. The first thing we need to do is we need to convert this a plus ib, we in this into a plus ib format. So, you know how to convert that. We have done some questions in the last class. Right. What is that? Rationalization. Rationalizing the denominator. Okay. We need to rationalize the denominator. So, minus 16 by 1 plus i root 3 into 1 minus i root 3 by 1 minus i root 3. Okay. So, minus 16 into 1 minus i root 3 by the denominator is a plus b into a minus b, a square minus b square. So, 1 minus i root 3 whole square, i root 3 whole square. So, 16 into 1 minus i root 3 by, 16 to 1 minus i root 3 by 1 plus 3, y plus i square is minus 1. I told you many times, i square value is minus 1. <coughs> so, minus i square will, be, will give you plus 1. So, that becomes a 1 plus 3. So, 16 into 1 minus i root 3 by 1 plus 3 is 4. So, 4 ones for 4. So, that will give you 4 into 1 minus i root 3. Okay. So, now the complex number we are having is that is equal to 4 into 1 minus i root 3. So, well, in trying to find what is the theta, right? If you, even if you go with 4 times 1 minus i root 3 or just for 1 minus i root 3, you will get the same. Why? Because z is equal to here it is a 4 minus 4 times of root 3 into i, i 4 root 3 right 4 minus i 4 root 3 so when you go for tan it or theta is equal to tan inverse of tan inverse of uh, modulus of minus 4 root 3 by 4 you go with minus i mean you go with 4 root 3 by 4 or you go with i 1 root 3 by 1 both are same okay so don't no need to get confused so, that will give you minus 4 minus 4 gets cancelled. Theta is equal to tan inverse of root 3. That will give you theta is equal to how much people? Pi by 3. But that is not correct. In which quadrant it is? 1 minus i root 3. 1 comma minus root 3 will be in the fourth quadrant. 1 comma minus root 3 will be in the fourth quadrant. Correct? X, I mean, a real positive and imaginary negative that comes under fourth quadrant. So, in fourth quadrant, I told you the angle will be minus theta. Okay. So, the argument, argument or amplitude, okay, argument of uh, z is equal to minus theta, so minus pi by 3. It is minus pi by 3. Understand this, uh, did we miss anything? I have, I think we have missed one. I have think, I think we have missed it. We missed this negative somewhere, right? So, till here negative is there. I forgot from the next step. I am so sorry. So, negative will come here, negative will come here, right? So, this will be a point, okay, people, uh, let me uh, change whatever I can, okay, uh, let me do once again, okay, without all this uh, arrangements, suggestions, okay, I will do once again, and I think this is also not correct, yeah, I am so sorry, right, people? So, once again, minus, we will leave it outside, 16 by 1 plus i root 3, into 1 minus i root 3 by 1 minus i root 3, correct? Okay, so minus of 16 into 1 minus i root 3 by this denominator we have already done that is equal to 4 plus. So, 4 ones are 4. So, 
माइनस ऑफ फोर माइनस आई रूट थ्री सो इट इज माइनस फोर प्लस आई रूट थ्री जेड इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर प्लस आई रूट थ्री विच कम्स माइनस फोर प्लस फोर रूट थ्री राइट माइनस फोर इंटू वन माइनस आई रूट थ्री ओके माइनस ऑफ फोर माइनस आई इंटू फोर रूट थ्री सो माइनस फोर प्लस आई टाइम्स ऑफ फोर रूट थ्री सॉरी फॉर दैट पीपल लॉट ऑफ मिस्टेक्स इन द सेम क्वेश्चन ओके सो सो दिस वैल्यू दिस इज द फाइनल जेड दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर प्लस आई इंटू फोर रूट थ्री सो नॉट एन मी एक्स और रियल इज नेगेटिव इमेजिन इज पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव का पॉजिटिव विल बी in the second quadrant where the angle we need to we need to take it as pi minus theta argument we need to take it as pi minus theta okay so tell me what is argument what is theta theta equal to theta equal tan inverse of tan inverse of mod 4 root 3 by minus 4 okay so 4 four gets cancelled there is tan inverse of root 3 we have modulus to make sure that it is positive so theta is equal to pi by 3 60 degrees okay but now if you want to find the argument the argument will be pi minus theta so pi minus pi by 3 so 3 pi minus pi this is a 2 pi by 3 people the the angle the argument will be 2 pi by 3 okay it is a 2 pi by 3 so now to write in the uh, polar form we also need to have uh, the modulus so mod z is equal to Root over a square, four square plus b square. That is a four root three whole square. Correct. Or you can simply uh, leave that four outside, people, and just try to find the modulus for this one. That is also correct. Okay. Now no mistakes. So four square sixteen. Uh, or I can take four square common if you want. You can try like in that way. I am taking out. So four square here is one plus root three whole square is three. Okay, so root four square will be will root four square will be outside four into root four. So four into two that will give you eight. Maybe I may be mistake. There may be a mistake. Please cross check that. Or if you go directly, this is sixteen and this is sixteen. This forty eight. So fourteen four five six root sixty four is again equal to eight. I think that's correct. Okay, so z is equal to mod z into r cos theta plus i sine theta. Once again, r Is not correct. I did the same mistake again. So mod z into sine cos theta, cos theta plus i sine theta. Okay. So mod z into that is eight into cos theta cos two pi by three plus i sine two pi by three. Cos two pi by three plus i sine two pi by three. Understand everyone? Eight times of cos two pi by three plus i sine two pi by three. That will be the polar representation. Of the given number that is minus sixteen by one plus i root three. Clear, everyone. Okay, so let's move for one more after this, people. One more question. Find the modulus and the argument of z equal to minus one minus i root three. Now the question is not to convert it in polar form, but whatever information we need for that, we need to bring it out. Okay, modulus. You know, mod z is equal to root over a square plus b square root three whole square is three. Root over a square plus b square. That is modulus formula. Okay, everyone. So that is root four. So mod z is equal to two. Okay, the modulus will be two. And now to find the argument. So theta. Theta is equal to tan inverse of tan inverse of minus root three by minus one with modulus. So that will give you tan inverse of root three only. That is again pi by three only. But now we should be very careful with the angle because minus one comma minus root three. People, minus one comma minus root three is a point in the third quadrant. Minus one comma minus root three is a point in the third quadrant. Understand? So now remember, if this is theta, here you will get pi minus theta. Here you will get minus theta. Here you will get minus pi plus theta. So. The angle or the argument of z, argument of z is equal to well minus pi plus pi by three. So in some books may uh, prefer alpha here and then this one as theta. It's your wish. Okay, you can say this as alpha, this as theta, this as theta, this as alpha, whatever it is. 
it should be argument of z should be the final same value okay so that will give you minus 3 pi plus pi by 3 which will give you minus 2 pi by 3 argument of z argument of z is equal to minus a 2 pi by 3 understood everyone clear okay so the question is find the modulus 2 argument that's it minus 2 by 3 just if you want to find try to write in polar form the question is to write in polar form mod z into cos theta plus i sin theta people many of them do this mistake once they write in the polar form they don't stop at that point they still keep solving that and again they try to bring this one people what is the use of that then con then converting into polar form All right see the question you have a number the question is to convert that into polar form but at this point you will not stop you still keep on solving again to get the same and the same question no point in doing all those okay so once you are having your polar form you need to stop at that point is the same question this minus one minus i root three this is a minus root three plus i small difference is there okay so what is what is modulus mod that is root over a square plus b square three square plus this i into one so one square is one so it is a root four mod z is equal to two mod z is equal to two clear done okay next coming to argument coming to argument so tell me how to find the argument now okay people so argument of z so you need to have theta is equal to tan inverse of tan inverse of mod y by x y mod y this is x plus i y okay so mod y is 1 by minus root 3 with modulus so tan inverse of 1 by root 3 which you will get in tan at pi by 6 30, 30 degrees you will get that at 30 degrees correct theta equal 30 degrees so now people you should understand where this point is there in which quadrant which quadrant minus comma plus minus comma plus tell me in the second quadrant right you will be having minus 3 comma 1 minus root 3 comma 1 second quadrant angle and you know for the second quadrant you will be taking the angle as a pi minus theta so argument of z will be pi minus pi by 6 that will be equal to pi pi by 6 that will be equal to pi pi by 6 clear how are we considering the arguments everyone okay people so let's move ahead students let's go for the next concept what is that convert 1 minus i to polar form okay so this is about polar form again so tell me what things you need to write in the polar form people z is equal to you need to write mod z into cos theta plus i sin theta that is the polar form right so you have mod z it's very simple so mod z is equal to root over a square plus b square or x square plus y square 1 plus 1 it is root 2 okay so now people the number is 1 minus i i into 1 okay so theta is equal to tan inverse of tan inverse of mod y by x tan inverse of mod y by x that will give you tan inverse of modulus of 1 by 1 that is 1 1 by 1 that will give you 1 so tan inverse of pi by 4 pi by 4 tan inverse of 1 tan inverse of 1 will give you pi by 4 okay but that's not the argument still we just got the angle 1 and minus 1 1 comma minus 1 will be a point in the fourth quadrant right 1 comma minus 1 is a point in the fourth quadrant so angle you need to take under as a minus theta so the argument will be minus pi by 4 okay so z is equal to mod z into mod z that is root 2 root 2 into cos theta that is cos of minus pi by 4 plus i times of sin of minus pi by 4 that's it people you need to stop it there you need to stop it there you cannot move forward or you need to you no need to solve it further if you solve it further you will again land up to that point that one minus i okay we don't require that simple i'll give you one more convert minus one plus i to polar form there is a small difference between before question and this one so please try to do that people i'll give you some time i'll not disturb you for the next two minutes please do it fast i'll give you two minutes of time let me see if i have the stop clock timer and i'll be going for two minutes right start do it fast people i'll be back
right students so your time is done people your time is done the time is running again the pause to i hope you have done this i hope you have completed this okay let's see that <clears throat> minus one plus i it's like minus one plus i times of one so mod z will be the same that is root over one plus one that is root two okay root two and what about theta theta is also the same people you also get the same thing tan inverse of one by one is one so pi by four but for bringing the argument you need to see the quadrant okay minus comma plus minus comma plus will be somewhere here okay negative comma positive minus one comma one will be in the second quadrant so angle is uh, pi minus theta so pi minus pi by four will give you three pi by four so when you try to write in the polar form tell me what will be the answer when you write in the polar form so z is equal to mod z into mod z into cos theta plus i sin theta cos theta plus i sin theta mod z is root 2 into cos 3 pi by 4 plus i sin 3 pi by 4 that's it you're done people so just by seeing the polar form what happens you can try to understand where that angle is that means where the point is it is in the second quadrant with the radius of root 2 i mean with the distance of root 2 that is how you can try to bring out okay <clears throat> right next one what is the next one we're having convert minus y sorry minus one comma minus i to polar form people i think you can do that from here okay the same process we have done two three more questions please uh, take that as a reference convert minus three to polar form will just minus three just minus three that means it is minus three plus i times of zero so what is mod z mod z will be root over a square three square is nine plus b square that is zero so mod z is the same number again three but with positive it is a magnitude it's a distance okay what about theta theta is equal to tan inverse of y by x y is zero by x with modulus so we'll get tan inverse of zero tan inverse of 0 is 0 theta is equal to 0 but where is the where is uh, where is that point in which coordinate minus 3 minus 3 will be here right people minus 3 will be here minus 3 comma 0 okay minus 3 comma 0 so the angle that you can consider is a pi the angle that you can consider is a pi okay because theta will be 0 so z is equal to mod z into mod z into cos theta plus i sin theta so that will give you mod z as 3 into cos 0 <clears throat> it's not cos it's cos pi well it's it should be cos pi okay cos pi plus i sin pi cos pi plus i sin pi understood everyone okay so three times of cos pi plus i sin pi will be the polar form of the number minus 3. Clear? Right. What is the next question we are having? Convert the complex number root 3 plus i to polar form. Convert the complex number root 3 plus i to polar form. I think the same, the same question that we had done earlier too. I hope you will be able to do that people. So this is the point root 3 comma 1 which is there in the first quadrant. So whatever angle theta will get the same ang angle you'll get for argument right and this distance that is the mod z mod z will be 2 done you can do that people i want you to solve that okay so take some time to solve this later convert the complex number i to polar form right this is important why i'll tell you just a number i i in the sense people i in the sense zero well, i in a sense it is 0 plus i times of 0 so i times of 1 0 plus i times of 1 that's what the meaning right so what is mod z mod z is root over a square 0 square plus b square that is 1 square so mod z is root over 1 square is 1 so mod z is 1 done okay that is about mod z we need to have the angle theta theta is equal to tan inverse of tan inverse of y by x 1 by 0 that will give you tan inverse infinity or undefined which comes at an angle of pi by 2 which comes at an angle of pi by 2 right 
complex number i i means people i means 0 comma 1 the point is 0 comma 1 so where does this belongs to 0 comma 1 is somewhere here right so it is exactly on the y-axis or on the imaginary axis where the angle will be considered as pi by 2 only okay no need to change anything even if you uh, find pi minus pi by 2 that is also pi by 2 okay no change in that so the polar form that is equal to mod z into cos theta plus i sin theta cos theta plus i sin theta so z is equal to mod z that is 1 into 1 into cos theta cos pi by 2 cos pi by 2 plus i sin pi by 2 understood everyone <coughs> cos 90 is 0 and sin 90 is 1 that is again the same i okay people later on later on what you will find so this uh, this representation will also be written as e power i theta okay we'll see that in the coming classes so what i can say this is equal to e power e power i pi by 2 e power i pi by 2 right understood what is again uh, like this is actually equal to i okay i can be written as e power i times of pi by 2 oh, fine right that's not required now but just for your information later on we'll be writing i as e power i pi by 2 both are same okay so the next one people the next one find the conjugate of 3 minus 2i into 2 plus 3i by 1 plus 2i into 2 minus i find the conjugate of see one thing that first of all you need to multiply bring the complete answer to a plus i b and then find the com conjugate or you can find the conjugate of each and everything multiply and that will be your final answer however you wish okay so i prefer to uh, eliminate the denominator i terms so what i need to do i need to multiply or uh, let's let's expand first of all let's expand so 3 to the 6 plus 9i minus 4i minus 2 into plus 3i is minus 6i square minus 6i square i square is again minus 1 okay people i uh, deleted a few steps i hope you are following along with me okay by denominator is 1 into 2 is 2 1 into minus i is minus i then plus 4i 2i into minus i is minus 2i square that becomes plus 2 so 6 plus 9 6 plus 6 is 12 12 plus 9 uh, 9 minus 4 is 5 12 plus 5i by 4 plus 3i 4 plus 3 so this is the given complex number we need to find the find the conjugate of this but still we we cannot do that we still have a rational number we still have a imaginary number or complex number in the denominator so first we need to avoid that or delete that <laughs> we can go with factorization rationalization okay well, we can go with rationalization so into 4 minus 3i by 4 minus 3i so that will give you 12 fours 48 minus 12 3 is minus 36 i plus 5 fours 20 i minus 5 3 is 15 i square is plus 1 so plus 15 by denominator a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square so 16 minus 3 square is 9 i square is plus 1 that will give you 16 plus 9 okay so 48 plus 15 48 plus 5 is 53 then 63 right 63 and minus 36 plus 20 becomes minus 16 i by 25 by 25 so this is the given z now to get the conjugate of this people you can conjugate of this is 63 plus 16 i by 25 conjugate is written by z bar or people instead of changing here some people change at the very first step they convert 3 plus 2i to minus 3i 1 minus 2i 2 plus i and then do this process whatever your answer you will get at the end that itself is your answer okay you expand bring into standard format and then apply conjugate or you apply conjugate expand and bring into final standard format both are same okay however you want to do it's up to you people there may be some calculus and mistake here and there please take care of that what is the next one we are having? 
find the modulus and argument of the complex numbers 1 plus i by 1 minus i again the same thing modulus and argument but here we are having two different things right 1 plus i by 1 minus i people so what we'll do first of all we'll try to reduce that 1 plus i by 1 minus i we'll try we'll try to reduce that i mean uh, convert that into standard format into 1 minus i into 1 plus i by 1 plus i so numerator is 1 plus i whole square so a square plus b square plus 2 into 1 into i by denominator a minus b into a plus b a square minus b square so 1 minus i square 1 and i square gets cancelled you know i square is equal to minus 1 so we'll be having 2i in the numerator by 1 plus 1 so 2i by 2 that will give you 2 so the given complex number z became 2 all that is appearing to be 1 plus i by 1 minus i it is 2 okay next so modulus is the same number again mod z is equal to root over a square plus b square i times of 0 root over a square plus 0 that will give you root 4 that is again 2 people if it is a real number then the same number will be its modulus no need to do again okay and what about the argument argument people it is it is somewhere here 2 comma 0 so argument is 0 degrees <coughs> okay so argument of z argument of z will be equal to 0 you can find tan inverse of y by x tan inverse of 0 by 2 okay and that is there in the on the uh, real real axis right so it is enough to say that the angle will be zero clear people fine let's move forward okay so find the modulus and the argument of the complex numbers one by one plus i one by one plus i so can we try to make something people rationalize one by one plus i into one minus i by one minus i so that will give you one minus i by denominator is one plus i square one minus i square i square is minus 1 so 1 minus i by 2 that is a complex number okay z is equal to 1 minus i by 2 so if i want to find the mod z people mod z you can leave that 1 by 2 as it is just try to find the modulus of the numerator okay so that becomes root over a square plus b square root over 1 plus 1 by 2 so root 2 by 2 will be equal to 1 by root 2 correct okay or people if it is actually equal to 1 by 2 plus i times of minus 1 by 2 so here also you can do root over root over 1 by 2 whole square 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 whole square 1 by 4 that becomes root over uh, 1 by 2 that will give you 1 by root 2 however you do the same answer you should get clear and that is about a modulus and what is the what about argument people argument okay for that so first we have theta theta is equal to inverse minus 1 by 2 by 1 by 2 both are same it will give 1 tan inverse of minus 1 by 2 by 1 by 2 right so that will give you tan inverse of 1 that will give you pi by 4 but that is not still the answer so see where is this point what is the point 1 by 2 plus i times of minus 1 by 2 positive negative positive negative will lie in the fourth quadrant positive negative will lie in the fourth quadrant so in the fourth quadrant what you will be having minus theta okay so argument will be minus theta that is a minus pi by 4 argument will be minus pi by 4 right people are you all understanding this we don't consider people we don't consider from 0 to 360 we consider from minus pi to pi we consider from minus pi bit minus pi to pi okay all right next x plus i by is equal to a plus i b by a minus i b prove that x square plus y square is equal to 1 well, it's a very simple question although it appears to be very difficult it is very simple okay so we have x plus i y is equal to a plus i b by a minus i b so i think we can go with the modulus entirely okay modulus of this will be equal to modulus of a plus i b by modulus of a minus i b yes we can do that okay so mod of x plus i y is equal to mod of a plus i b by mod of a minus i b so that will give you people tell me what to do here <clears throat> so this is root over x square plus y square this is root over a square plus b square and denominator also it is root over a square plus b square so these two gets cancelled that becomes one so i got 
root x square plus y square is equal to 1, which is x square plus y square is equal to 1. So, that is what we need to prove that. Just simply take the modulus, you are done with your answer. All right, Hibble. So, what is the next one? Okay, Hibble. So, this is a very typical question, very uh, good question, I can say. So, what was given here? So, we need to find the value of theta such that this is purely real. What do you mean by purely real? Purely real means if we have the term as a plus ib, I should have only the real term, ib term should become zero. I should have only the real term, ib term will become zero. Understand everyone? ib term will become zero, okay? That means what I'll do, I will try to bring this in the standard format and make that b to be zero convert into standard format and make that b to be 0, okay? So, 3 plus 2i sin theta by 1 minus 2i sin theta, I will try to rationalize the denominator into 1 plus 2i sin theta by 1 plus 2i sin theta. Alright, <clears throat> right, so that will give you 3 into 1 is 3 plus 3 to 6i sin theta plus 2i into 1 that becomes plus 2i sin theta and minus 2 into 2 is 4 sin square theta y minus i into i is i square okay so 4 sin square theta by denominator is a minus b into a plus b a square plus b square so 1 plus 4 square sin i mean 2 square is 4 1 plus 4 sin square theta. Y plus because I into I is minus sign. So, that will give you, that will give you people, are we done? Right. So, 3 minus 4 sin square theta plus 8i sin theta by 1 plus 4 sin square theta by 1 plus 4 sin square theta. What is this people? So, this is in the format of A plus IB. And for purely real, I told you that B should be 0. So, that means this complete term should be 0. Right? Let, let me check if we have missed anything else, people. So, this complete I times of what we are having, 8 sin theta by 1 plus 4 sin square theta should be equal to 0. So, 8 sin theta is equal to 0, is equal to 0. So, theta will be equal to 0. So, if theta is 0, what happens? This becomes 0 this becomes 0, you will get just 3 by 1, that is a purely real. Here it is very simple, people. in this question it was very simple to get theta equal to 0, but not in all the questions, okay. You may ask me, sir, why are we doing all this, instead I can just say this and this becomes 0 and we are getting the answer. For this question it worked, but not for all the questions. This is the method you need to follow, okay, everyone. What next, people? Convert the complex number in the polar form 1 min i minus 1 by cos pi by 3 plus i sin pi by 3. Okay, so tell me what to do here. What to do here, people? So, cos pi by 3, it's actually 1 i minus 1 by cos pi by 3 is cos 61 by 2 plus i into root 3 by 2. So, I'm taking that 2 up. So, 2 times of i minus 1 by 1 plus i root 3, but I should not have i in the denominator okay so we multiply with into 1 minus i root 3 by 1 minus i root 3 people we have still a lot of shortcuts don't worry okay as we move on through complex numbers we have still two lectures so we'll be discussing geometrical problems as well as few more applications like this where we can do more easier way okay so that will give you people 2 into i into 1 is i, i into minus i root 3 is minus i square root 3, so plus root 3, minus 1 to 1 is minus 1, and this is a plus, plus i root 3, okay, plus i root 3, by a plus b into a minus b, a square minus b square, so 1 minus, 1 minus i root 3 whole square, 1 minus i root 3 whole square, that is a, 3 and 2 i square, i square is minus 1, that becomes 1 plus 3. Okay, so what I'll get finally, you'll be getting 2 times of, 2 times of <clears throat> i plus i root 3 and root 3 minus 1, okay. So, this is root 3 minus 1 plus 
plus 2 times of i, I into 2. Okay, I am taking i common here and 2 is already there outside, do not forget. And if I take i common, 1 plus i, 1 plus root 3. Okay, 1 plus root 3. Carefully check that, people. Carefully check. 2i should be there. 2i is there. And 2i root 3. So here 2i root 3 is there. Divided by 4. By 4. Divided by, by 4. So if you cancel with 2, it is root 3 minus 1 by 2 plus i into root 3 plus 1 by 2. That is your z. But that came to be in standard format, but still we need to convert that into polar form. So we need to find the modulus of that. We will just try to find modulus. I'm not going to help you root over a square plus b square. Okay, so please do that. Now, if you try to find the angle of theta, right? That is very important. Theta is equal to tan inverse of tan inverse of <coughs> root 3 plus 1, root 3 plus 1 by 2 by root 3 minus 1 by 2. Okay. So these two gets cancelled. We will root three plus one by root three minus one. If I am not if I am not wrong, it will be tan seventy five degrees. But please cross check that once again. Okay. So theta is equal to seventy five degrees. Seventy five degrees. Or how can you write in terms of pi? Uh, people, anything uh, fifteen fives, right? So I'll try to bring seventy five like this. I think three sixty by seventy five two is one fifty. No. Uh, I have <coughs> 45 degrees as pi by 4, right? I'll use that 45 to bring this 75. See that? So, dividing by 3, I have 15. 15 is by 3 is pi by 12. And this is 5 times of 15. 5 times of 15 is 75, correct? So, 5 times of 15, 5 pi by 12. Okay, theta is 5 pi by 12. One more. You need to find the quadrant also, right? This is positive. This is also positive. People, root 3. <clears throat> root 3 is 1.732, right? Uh, approximately. So, this is positive, this is also positive. First quadrant, same angle will come, okay? So, the final answer should be writing it as mod z is equal to mod z into cos, that is cos 5 pi by 12 plus i sin 5 pi by 12. People, please try to find what is mod z. Try to find what is mod z, okay? root a square plus b square. It's not that difficult. We will get it easily. Clear? Right. Moving forward, people. Mm. Evaluate i power 18 plus 1 by i whole power 25 whole cube. Well, we discussed powers of i. Powers of i. Okay. So, i, you know, i square is minus 1, i cube is minus i, i power 4 is 1, and I told you i power 4k values will be equal to 1. i power 4k plus 1 will be i. i power 4k plus 1 will be equal to i. And I told you i power 4k plus 2 will be minus 1. i power 4k plus 3 will be minus i. So we have discussed all this earlier. That's not new for you. Okay. So i power 18, i power 18 is i power 16 into i square. Correct? i power 16 is a multiple of 4, so 1, 16 is a multiple of 4, so 1 into i square and you know i square is minus 1, okay, and what about this 1 by i power 25, 1 by i power 25, so that 1 I can write as i power nearest multiple of 4, 28, i power 28 by i power 25, right, 28 is multiple of 4. So, I can write this as i power 28 minus 25. I will write it as i cube. i cube will be equal to minus sign. i cube will be equal to minus sign. So, if I add this one, this is minus 1. And this is uh, uh, minus, this complete thing is minus sign. This complete thing is minus sign. So, minus 1 minus i whole cube. So, this is the same format that you can multiply. a plus b whole cube or a minus b whole cube formulas. All right, well. Okay, so what next? Friends, all these are very simple things. I don't uh, say these are very difficult, okay? I just want to give you a lot of applications. Even my class will always have a lot of applications, I'm saying, okay? Mathematics, subject that you should be confident with basics, all the concepts, as well as you need to have wide uh, exposure to all types of applications. That is how you learn the language, learn mathematics but again don't expect me to teach each and everything that is a spoon feeding 
I cannot spoon feed people. That's not the way to teach. Okay, right. So I'm not teaching this as I told you. I'll be telling you how to do this. One by one minus four i minus two by one plus i into three minus four i by five plus i. The standard form. Standard form is a plus i b. Okay, people. So take LCM. Take LCM for this. Just like the normal numbers. Don't worry about anything. If you are very confused with the LCMs, first convert this one by one minus four i into standard form. This one also to standard form. Add this and then multiply. But whatever it is, that will be lengthy. Okay. So take LCM, find what is this number, and try to rationalize the denominator for this one also. Like multiply and then rationalize, rationalize and then multiply. Whatever you do, right? Completely, this complete. Term should come as a plus i times of b. I'm not teaching you this. Please try to do that. And if you have any doubt, ask me in the comment section. Okay, people, students. I want you to work more and more, more and more. X minus i by equal root a, a minus i b by root c minus i d. So for seeing this is a very difficult question, but I can say this is a very simple question, people. Just apply the modulus for everything. Okay, just apply the modulus. The modulus of that is root x square plus y square. Okay, so this is a square plus b square. This is c square plus d square. Just square and apply the modulus or apply the modulus and square. Whatever you do, it will be very simple question. Okay, just the concept of modulus. The entire equation is there with you. By seeing, you can say that. By seeing, you can say that. Nothing, uh, no much information is required for that. Okay. So convert the following in the polar form. Okay. One second, we have two minus i whole square. Let's try to do the first one. Second one will be your homework. So people, one plus seven i by this is the two square four plus i square is minus one minus two is four i. So one plus seven i by three minus four i multiply with three plus four i by three plus four i. Right. So one into three is three plus four into i plus seven into three is plus twenty one i plus seven fourths twenty eight i square i square is minus one by denominator a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square that becomes nine minus sixteen with plus y plus i square okay so that will give you three minus twenty eight is three minus twenty eight is minus twenty five minus twenty five plus six i by twenty five. By twenty-five, right? So this will be the number. All right, people. So clearly, see here. Uh, one second, let me cross-check that. One plus seven into three plus four i. Four plus i square minus one minus four i. So three minus four i into three plus four i. Three four. Ah, this is twenty-one i. Why did I write this? Just a minute. Okay. <clears throat> Once again, so that is equal to one into three. One to three is three plus one to four is four i plus seven into three is twenty one i, which I missed before, and that's the reason we got weird values. Plus seven into four is minus twenty eight by this is twenty five. Okay. So see, four i plus twenty one is twenty five. It will be good. Okay. Three minus twenty eight is minus twenty five. Minus twenty five plus twenty five i by twenty five. So if you cancel out, if you cancel out twenty five, we'll get z is equal to minus one plus i. I'm leaving that for you. Okay, minus one plus i. So you know minus comma plus will be a second quadrant. We have already done the same thing where the angle is uh, pi by four, but pi minus pi by four is three pi by four. We have already done the same value before. Okay, so try to recall that and do it. Clear, yeah, people. So what next? Z one is equal to minus i. Z two is equal to one plus i. Find Z one plus Z two plus one by Z one minus Z two plus one. So what is Z one plus Z two? We will simple. Don't worry. Okay. Z one plus Z two. Two plus one is three, and minus i plus i both gets cancelled. So Z one plus Z two. I'll write here always. Z one plus Z two. Two plus one is three. Minus i plus i gets cancelled. Z one minus Z two. Will be two minus one is minus one minus i minus i is minus two i. Okay. So numerator z one plus z two plus one 
so 3 plus 1 by z1 minus z2 minus 1 minus 2i plus 1 okay so that will give you 4 by 4 by minus 2i right so that becomes a uh, modulus of minus 2 by i right so two values two only no not to worry modulus of i is 1 how modulus of i that becomes root over 0 plus 1 that is equal to root 1 that is equal to 1 modulus okay so that will be equal to 2 by 1 that is 1 that's it it will say modulus okay if you're confused multiply with i by i from there also you can do that 2 by 1 is 2 so 2 by 1 is Clear everyone, people, how to do this? Any doubt here, please let me know that. Okay, so we have a few more questions, people. The same thing, the same thing we have done before, also. Just take the modulus everywhere, you'll get that. <coughs> modulus of this, modulus of this, modulus of this, you're done, you'll get that. Okay, so let's see what else we're having. Okay, people, so we need to find real parts and imaginary parts. Z1 into Z2 by Z1 bar z1 bar people so that will give you z1 into z2 we need to find z1 into z2 let us try to find out so uh, 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 and uh, 2 into i is plus 2i minus i into minus 2 is again plus 2i right minus i into plus i is minus i square which is plus 1 please do it carefully people, try to bring what is z1 into z2 okay uh, this is like uh, the exact negative of that. It will be square of that actually. Okay, fine. So find Z1 into Z2 by Z1 bar. What is Z1 bar? Z1 bar is 2 plus sign. So you will be getting the numerator and denominator. Try to rationalize that. Okay, rationalize the denominator. Bring it into uh, the format of A plus IB at the last. Okay, in that A plus IB, whatever you get. A becomes a real part and B becomes the imaginary part. Okay, people. So you should be able to do this. You should be able to do that. Find the modulus and argument of the complex number 1 plus 2i by 1 minus 3i. Same thing we have done. So multiply with into 1 plus 3i by 1 plus 3i. Try to solve that. Try to bring it to the proper format. Okay, A plus IB. Then you can go for the remaining values. Okay. People, similar types we have discussed. That is the reason I am skipping that. Okay, don't think that I am just leaving just for sake. Okay, find the real numbers x and y. If x minus i y into 3 plus 5 y is a conjugate of minus 6 minus 24. People, what is the conjugate of this number? Minus 6 plus 24 i. So, this should be equal to the product of these two. Right? So, multiply x into x is 3x plus 5xi plus i into 5x minus i into 3y minus 5y i square i square is minus 1 becomes plus minus i y into 5i 5y will come i into s minus 1 so positive okay so this becomes 3x plus 5y plus i times of 5x minus 3y so this is equal to minus 6 plus 24i. So equate these two to get minus 6. 3x plus 5y is equal to minus 6. Equate these two. 5x minus 3y is equal to 24. So I hope you can solve for the values of x and y. You can solve for the values of x and y. Okay. Right, people. So what next we are having? Again, people find the modulus of. So take proper LCMs bring into the standard format okay so lcm what is the lcm for this lcm will be 1 minus i into 1 plus i numerator cross multiplication 1 plus i whole square and this is 1 minus i whole square i think you can do that easily people don't do mistakes in the calculations that is where you lose all the marks even though you are very confident with the concept okay all right Find the number of non-zero integral solutions of the equation 1 minus i whole power x is equal to power x. So that's a beautiful question. I, I'm not, I'll just give you some hints, but I'll not, I'll not tell you the problems. 1 minus x whole power x equal to 2 power x. Let us assume that if x is equal to 0. 
and if x is equal to 0, 1 minus a power 0, anything power 0 is 1. So, 1 is equal to 1. Is that correct? I don't know. Think about that, okay? If x equals 0, will satisfy. And people, how do you do that is go for the modulus. When both the numbers are equal, you can equate their modulus, right? So, modulus of this and modulus of this, equate those two to get some results and some values, okay? Please do that. It's a very important and uh, like logic thinking question I can say. If a plus i b into c plus i d into a plus i f into g plus i h equal a plus i b, then show that all this. Just by seeing you can say that. Modulus of a plus i b is root a square plus b square, okay? So, simply modulus of that will be some having some link with this one. 1 plus i by 1 minus a whole power m equal to 1 and find the least positive integral value of m. These type of questions are very important. We will first of all try to solve this. What is that inside 1 plus i by 1 minus i? Okay. So, into 1 plus i by 1 plus i. Numerator is 1 plus i whole square. So, a square plus b square plus 2ab by denominator is a square minus b square 1 minus i square. 1 and i square gets cancelled. You will get 2i by 1 plus 1 is 2. I said you i square is minus 1. Okay, so 2i by 2, that will give you i. 2i by 2, that will give you i. Okay, so the given question now will transform to i power 1, m is equal to 1, and the least positive integral value of m satisfying this equation is 4. You know, i power, i power 4 is equal to 1, that is the least positive integral value. Right? So, m will be equal to 4. Clear everyone? People, I hope we are... Almost, yeah, we are end the class, people. So, it's a very beautiful session, I can say. We have discussed about Argand plane. We have discussed about amplitude, argument, polar form, right? What is Argand plane? How to find the amplitude or argument? We discussed for polar form and some questions with a link of all this, okay? With a combination of all this, okay? People, so that's a beautiful session, everyone. Thank you so much, people. Stay tuned to get the next lecture, right? Thank you.